Hello students, in the previous video, we learned about integers and so on. Exercise 6.1, question number 1, 2 and 3. Today, we are going to solve question number 4 and 5. So, let us solve it. Exercise 6.1, question number 4. Adjacent figure is a vertical line representing integers. Observe it and locate the following points. Students, in this question, we have been given a vertical number line. On this vertical number line, we have been given points like D, C, B, A, O, H, G, F and E representing the integer 8. Students, we have been given only one integer which is 8 which is marked as point D. Students, we have to write the correct integers for the remaining points such as C, B, A, O, H, G, F and E. Students, we know that on vertical line at the top larger number is written or given. And at the bottom, smaller number is written or given. So, we have to write the integers smaller than 8 for each and every mark or division. Students, we also know that 7 is smaller than 8. So, we have to start writing the integer from 7 to the last division or mark till bottom. Students, after completing the vertical line by representing the integers like positive 0 which is neither positive nor negative and negative integers, we have to read the questions carefully, understand it and we have to write the correct answer for the given questions. Students, we will get the answers of each and every question from the number line. Students, be careful in representing the integers. Because if you will represent the incorrect integer, then you will get the incorrect answer. So now, let us solve sum number 4. First of all, by representing the correct integer on the given vertical number line and solve the given questions by observing the vertical number line. Writing integers such as 7 below 8, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, Minus 4, minus 5, minus 6, minus 7, minus 8, minus 9 and minus 10. Now, let us read the questions carefully and write down the answers by observing the number line and solve question number Sum A. If point D is plus 8, then which point is minus 8? 
students in order to get the answer of this question let us observe the vertical number line and write down the point that represents minus 8 by observing the number line it is clear that on this number line f represents minus a thus the answer of this question is f represents minus 8 now sum b is point g a negative integer or a positive integer students observe this number line in order to get the answer by observing the number line it is clear that point g is a negative integer thus the answer of this question is point g is a negative integer now sum c write integers for points b and e by observing the number line it is clear that b represents plus 4 and e represents minus 10 now sum d which point mark on this number line has least value that is lowest value students we know that at the top of the number line there is a largest value and at the bottom of the number line there is a least value so we can say that on this number line point e has least value which is minus 10 now sum e arrange all the points in decreasing order students we know that decreasing order means descending order where we have to arrange the given point from largest value to the smallest value students know that we have to write the points that is letters of the english alphabet given to us and not the integers like 8765432100 minus 1 minus 2 Minus three, minus four, minus five, minus six, minus seven, minus eight, minus nine, and minus ten. So now let us arrange all the points given to us in decreasing order. That is bigger to smaller. Thus, arranging the points in decreasing order, we get. D C B A O H G F and E Now question number 4 Following is the list of temperature of five places in India on a particular day of the year Sum A. Write the temperature of these places in the form of integers in the blank column. Students, try to understand this question. In this question, we have to write the temperature of the given places in the form of integers. Students, we know that integers. include positive numbers negative numbers and zero students 
in this question we have to use appropriate sign students we know that for the word below we have to place minus sign before the number given to us and for the word above we have to place plus sign before the number students so now let us solve some a by writing the temperature of the given places in the form of integers by placing appropriate sign solution a let us write the temperature of siachen the temperature of siachen is 10 degree celsius below 0 degree celsius so the answer of this question is minus 10 degree celsius students we place minus sign before 10 degree celsius as the word below is given to us and we know that when the word below is given we have to place minus sign before the given number now let us write the temperature of simla in the form of integer the temperature of simla is 2 degree celsius below 0 degree celsius so the answer in the form of integer is minus 2 degree celsius now let us write the temperature of ahmedabad in the form of integer the temperature of ahmedabad is 30 degree celsius above 0 degree celsius so the answer in the form of integer is plus 30 degree celsius students we place plus sign before 30 degree celsius temperature as the word above is given to us now let us write down the temperature of delhi writing temperature of delhi in the form of integer we get plus 20 degree celsius now writing the temperature of srinagar in the form of integer we get minus 5 degree celsius now sum b following is the number line representing the temperature in degree celsius plot the name of the city against its temperature students in this sum we have to represent the name of the city against its temperature students by solving sum a we come to know that the temperature of the five places of india we come to know that the temperature of siachen is minus 10 degree celsius so we have to plot siachen against minus 10 degree celsius on the number line that is we have to mark siachen representing minus 10 degree celsius on the given number line students likewise we have to plot simla delhi ahmedabad and srinagar on the given number line students i am representing siachen simla ahmedabad and delhi on the number line you have to represent srinagar on the given number line by yourself thus marking siachen against its temperature 
marking simla against his temperature marking ahmedabad against his temperature and delhi against his temperature now some c which is the coolest place students in order to write the coolest place you have to consider the smallest integer students remember that on the number line the smallest integer lies on the left hand side and on the left hand side of this number line negative integers are given students also remember that negative integers are always smaller than 0 and all the positive integers students amongst these integers the smallest integer is minus 25 which is on the left side of the other integers but there is no such place where temperature is minus 25 degree celsius students we know that temperature of sea change is minus 10 degree celsius srinagar is minus 5 degree celsius and temperature of simla is minus 2 degree celsius amongst minus 10 minus 5 and minus 2 Minus ten is smaller, which is on the left side of minus five and minus two. Thus, we can say that Siachen is the coolest place with minus ten degree Celsius. Now, some B. Write the names of the places. where temperature are above 10 degree celsius students the answer of this question is delhi and ahmedabad as in delhi and ahmedabad the temperature is above 10 degree celsius that is 20 degree celsius and 30 degree celsius respectively students note that we have to write the name of the places where temperature is above 10 degree celsius and not below 10 degree celsius